What's up guys? Today I will be reading 365 bedtime stories. So this book is this so this is not even a book. It's a written one. Like this is paper. My dad built it, but it was from a normal book. But I do read it sometimes for you. So this also has all the all the January. So if you want to hear all of the Januarys, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below about this book. January 1st, a New Year's party. Just because it was the first day of the year, meant steady. And because parties were about the nicest things in the world to to the mind of a girl named Ella. Her mother decided to give her one. And certainly does seem like the first day of the year on the first on or the first of something, said Ella. It's a new day, a new year. We have the year. New year. And we have new toys and new games. You're even going to have supper out of new dishes. For among the presents, Santa Claus has brought, brought to Ella was fine set of dishes. They were pink and white and there were six cups and saucers, six little plates, a teapot, sugar bowl, and cream junk. A cream jug It was really, it was really a very complete set. They had thin bread and butter, hot chocolate with whipped cream, and a cake, which Ella's mother called a New Year's cake. It was pink and white, on the top with pink shivered trimmings, trimmings, on the white frosting. In the center of the cake was one pink candle. For Ella's mother said it would be quite impossible to have a candle for the number of years. There had been, been and two, it would be nice to have a new way and just consider the year a day old. After the cake had been almost entirely eaten, eaten they played a house. Each little girl took a corner of the room as her house and fixed it up with some, some of Ella's things. They all had their own dolls and, and many of their other toys, so they really felt quite at home. Sorry there. Quiet at home. Then they began calling on each other dressing up in shawls and old hats which Ella's mother let them use. After a while, they heard a flutter, flutter against the window frame. And then another little clapping sound. Do you know what that means? It's a little bird, said Ella. As she looked out of the window, it's right on the sill. And I am a and I am dreadfully afraid it, it was hurt. It, its wings, poor little dear. They opened the window and Ella took the little bird in her hands. Oh, how cold the little bird's feathers were. Ooh. We'll take care of you, said Ella. Take care of you, said Ella. They gave the little bird some breadcrumbs and some water. Then he had a delicious piece of lettuce from the seed which Alice had started a in a box in her room. Pretty soon the bird began to grow much better and hopped and chirped around the room about the room. And then they let him out for he had simply been very hungry. Ooh, that makes you starve enough. We'll put some sweat in that tree over there. Let's, said Ella, let's put some 
breadcrumbs, said her friends. And then one of them added, let's give some of the New Year's cake crumbs too. So the little bird was given a regular New Year's feast. And Ella and her friends were among other children who decided to look after the feathered people through the cold months of the winter and to give them bread crumbs and sweat which they love so well. This is this was next up is gonna be January 2, but you have to like and subscribe first. If you want to check the full video, make sure to go here. Bye-bye.